Okay, so oh, there's that bloody sign again. This is a video of my first attempt at working on a soap finish. Soap finish fairly traditional in Scandinavia. Information on it in English rather uh, difficult to come by. So credit where credit's due. I have three main sources for this. Uh, an Australian woodworking blog that reprinted a, an article from Chris Schwartz. A popular woodworking article by Chris Schwartz and a um, Lost Art Press article by, you guessed it, Chris Schwartz. So it um, seems to be the, uh, the man who knows this particular thing. Um, I've never done this before, don't know how it's going to work out. Um, don't know whether uh, the one plus one mixture that I'm going to use is going to end up being equal to two or whether it's going to uh, clump down a bit. So I've got two jars that are the same size, I've made a mark. To, uh, to show the measurement of where I'm going to put stuff. Uh, the soap I got was from a, a local soap shop. It's just natural soap flakes, apparently with lavender in. Um, I'm buying this in a second language, so I'm never 100% sure on these. Uh, the reason I'm doing this finish is because um, one of my colleagues at work would like to uh, have some for want of a better word, bits of scrap the wood that people can give themselves a massage with. Uh, so obviously coming into contact with skin doesn't want any particularly smelly finishes. I personally think boiled linseed oil or shellac would do a perfectly good job, but what do I know? I'm just a guy who makes stuff. So we've got soap flakes up to the mark there. Uh, the way the Instructions read is that you would put um, boiling water into a jar, then you would put half the soap flakes in, you would mix them together, then you would add the rest of the rest of the water, finish the mix, and then let it cool down. Um, so that I know I'm using the same amount, I will use the second jar, which is from the same marmalade manufacturer the first jar was from, and I'm also going to sit it in a uh, pan of boiling water just to um, avoid cooling the boiling water down too much when I pour it in. So uh, I have a kettle that's already boiled. I'll put that in there. Probably doesn't matter too much if you get a little bit of water inside the soap. After all, the whole point of this is pouring boiling water into soap and mixing it. So uh, who knows? I'll let that warm up for a bit. We'll give the kettle another boil. That appears to have used about half a litre of water, but it doesn't make that much difference, to be honest. I assume. Now, because I still have my jar with the mark on, I can filter the mark, or roughly halfway to the mark. In. That's about halfway. Give it a mix. I'm just mixing it with a dowel that I cut. Gave it a bit of a sand to get any uh, uh, crap off of it. Might have been worth letting the uh, boiling water stand in the soap a bit. Don't know. As I said, this is the first time I've done it. Really not sure how it's going to turn out. But uh, we'll see what we see. The in instructions that I read said you either end up with a soup, something closer to the consistency of meringue or uh, whipped cream, or something closer to the consistency of mayonnaise. I think the idea is that the hot water melts the wax and the oils and they all combine, but because it's hot water rather than cold water, it does something chemically. However, I don't actually know that. So 
water, put the second half of the boiling water. This was a one-to-one -one mix by volume, not by weight, so uh, that may be making a difference as well. I expect this is a nice liquid and runny solution just because of the boiling water. This isn't a terribly exciting process, unless you enjoy mixing things. Well, that does smell nice. As I said, the one that I got has uh, some lavender smell to it, but it smells clean, which I suppose is something you want if you're going to be massaging yourself with a bit of wood that's been finished with this. Now, this is not a particularly robust finish. You generally need to put four or five coats on to get anything um, approaching a, uh, a reasonable film. I'm probably only going to use two or three on these things. Because they're going to get handled and it's going to wear off anyway fairly quickly. But, uh, so we'll see how they go from there. Um, this, I've kind of got like a, uh, an amount of soap still not dissolved on the top. But uh, as I say, it's the first time I've done it, so we'll, we'll see what we see. Seems to be clumping up on my bit of dowel fairly, fairly easily now. I don't know. Now obviously because this isn't my idea of recipe or anything similar, um, I will be dropping Lost Art Press a note to say that I quoted them and used their name. Uh, if you're seeing this video, then that probably means either they haven't responded and told me that I should take it down, or they have responded and told me it's okay. Um, Either way, we'll see what they see, or not, if they want me to take it down. I don't mind, there's only 26 subscribers, so it's not like there's a massive amount of people who are going to be upset. But it's still fairly warm, that, but I still also have some fairly chunky bits of soap in that. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But I would tip it sideways and show you the uh, coagulated mucus inside, that's pretty much what it looks like, but obviously if I do that it's all going to fall out over the bench, so we won't do that. So I'm going to knock this video on the head here, uh, I'll let this sit for a bit longer, get any of the other gloopy bits out that I can. Give it a bit more stirring. You obviously don't need to sit there and watch me stir for 20 minutes. Um, once it's all 
as dissolved as I think it's reasonably going to get, I will leave it to cool down. And one of the other videos that you may or may not see, depending on when I do it, how I do it, with the application. Uh, I'll follow the uh, the application that is, the application depends on the on the consistency. To be honest, according to everything that I've read, uh, I'm hoping for a fairly thick consistency so that I can put it into a piece, a piece of cloth, wrap that piece of cloth into a, uh, a tight ball, and you and then squeeze the soap mixture through the cloth and use that to apply it to the work pieces. Of course, if I ended up if I end up with something that stays basically liquid, I may just be using a brush or a, a sock brush. But we shall see what we see. Okay, I'm going to knock this video on the head now. Next time you see this stuff, it'll either be working or not. Yeah.